Hello everyone, welcome back to all computer classes. This is chapter 4 of class 6, right? So here we'll be learning about word processor mail merge. So this is a very important feature of a word processor. So in this chapter, we will learn about the mail merge feature, creating a mail merge document and then viewing the merge data and printing your letters, right? So let's learn about it. So first of all, we, we should know what this mail merge is all about, right? So mail merge feature of Microsoft Word is used to combine the two things that is data source and main document. So the data source is the addresses of all the recipient and main document is your letter. Students, for example, you are having your birthday in the next month and you want to invite all your friends, right? So you'll be sending an invitation letter to them. So that letter will be having two things. One is the main document, right? And the second thing is data source means the addresses of all your friends, right? So what this feature will do, it will save our time and energy. How, for example, you create a beautiful invitation letter on your Microsoft Word. Now, one by one, you will be entering the addresses of all your friends so one by one you will keep entering your friends information and then you will be printing them right so birthday invitation and the addresses of your friends the data source will be created letter will be made and then one by one we'll keep merging and preparing the letter to send them right so these are the three things that you should know completely what is data source it is the addresses of all your friends or all the participants or all the students or all the company members to whom the letter has to be sent so address always consists of the name of the student or person address city pin phone number right so that is called data source data source can contain thousands of addresses right so once you will sit and prepare the entire data and then you will make the main document right means the letter and then you will merge it so what will be merged in the main document all the data items will be merged right and then you will be taking print out one by one right so first we'll be creating main document then specifying data source and then merging them so let's do it practically and learn more about it so for that we will will go in the microsoft word 2010 right this is your word processor. Now here we have six tab that is mail merge. From the sixth tab, you can remember that our mail merge will be having six steps. So you will click here step by step mail merge wizard, right? So the, the moment you will click here, you will get to see this side pan here. By default, this letter option will be selected, right? To select the type of document, is it a mail or envelope or label or directory? So we will use letter. Now, next is starting document. Then use the current document means we will be making our letter here. Means this letter, this page will be made as a letter. So this document will be used. Now select the recipient. The third will be, you will click the third recipient. Now use the existing list means if the list has been made already, then you will be using that. If it is not ma made, then you will be using type a new list. So once you will click here, type a new list you will click on create right so the you will get this box in front of you now students you can see here title is the first option then first name last name company name address and we have a lot of options here so we don't want to enter this much information to send a letter so for that we will go in the customize column option and we will customize it so the things that we don't want we will delete them so we don't want the title we will delete it okay then we don't want company name so delete it we will just enter one address so we will delete it zip code we don't want right state we don't want so whatever things you want you can keep those and you whatever you don't want you can delete those even you can add some right for example we can we want to add house number right i want to move up my house numbers i'll move up right move down 
so we'll be entering name last name city house number and phone number and click ok so this much information we need to enter now here we'll be making a list now first name is let's say your first friend is Kabir right and Kabir Singh then city is Panch Panchkula house number is then phone number is right then we'll come down and we'll click on new entry then we will enter Riddim then Riddim Kumar is also from Panchkula so they can come they can join each other and house number is this phone number is right so again we'll click on new entry and then we'll write Anika Sharma he's from Chandigarh house number is this phone number is right we'll make a new entry we'll click on new and then Manas Manhas Mohali right so this is the way we will create a data source right I'll click OK now let me save it as a invitation right and it is getting saved in data source see at the top this is the document and the document we have this my data source and I'll click save and click OK these names have been selected so all this will be entered one by one so I'll click OK right now write your letter so we'll be writing our letter dear friend glad to tell you that after a long time I am organizing my birthday party at home there will be lots of fun dance games and surprises looking forward for your PR presence I will be very happy to have you at my place see you soon right see you soon your loving your loving friend John right so this is the letter data source has been created now I'll bring my cursor at the top because I want to enter the data source item here right so wherever you want to enter the address so take your mouse pointer at that place now go in the more items now insert first name then last name select it and then click insert city house number and phone number and close it now you see everything has been entered in a single line so as it is it will appear so I don't want that so I'll bring it down and I will bring it down right so first and last name city and house number and then home phone number this will be inserted one by one right so now preview your letter recipient one right then I'll click this then recipient 2 then recipient 3 and recipient 4 one by one just keep moving one this arrow buttons and take keep taking your print outs so now last step is complete the mail merge and print right so this is how you can this is how you perform mail merge so there are total six steps they are very very easy one you need to create the main document and second you need to 
have the data source means you need to store all the addresses to whom you want to send the letter at one place so student that's it this is very very easy and very very important topic so you must not skip it just try it out one by one one step by just try it out step by step you will find it very easy this is the topic that will be asked you in your practical exam for sure right so see you in the next video till then take care and goodbye